So there's a new Galaxy in the family. It is not mine, so I'm not doing the unboxing, which suits me fine. I'll just work the camera and sound. So this is the new Samsung Galaxy S20. Let's have a look what's inside. Ah, it's interesting, there's a phone inside. So what do you get in the box with it? Flip that around, see what it looks like. Okay, there's a bank of cameras in there. What else is in the box? The charger. And charger cable. Pretty standard fare these days. Yeah, similar size to if you saw my recent Galaxy A51 unboxing. Oh, that's right. Always in the lid there's some things. I'll put the A51 link below. So there's the little pin there that you need to eject the SIM slot holder. Okay, let's just compare what they are in size. So just for a quick comparison, you'll see on the left is the Samsung Galaxy S7. In the middle we have the new Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, which is 5G. And on the right is the new Samsung Galaxy A51. Out of all three, the one in the middle, the Galaxy S20 is also 5G capable, which is another story. A lot of contention about that for a number of years. But as always with technology, regardless of outcomes or lack of research, including the current situation in the world, they'll go ahead anyway where money's involved. And you can always turn it off if you're worried about the 5G potential effects of ionising radiation as it's claimed. So check out, if you're interested, the unboxing link to my Samsung Galaxy A51. And also below you'll find the specs I'll put in for the new Galaxy S20. Let's just see if there's enough power to turn it on. Whatever your take on the 5G network is, there's no doubt that technically it's extremely fast. Uh -huh. Yes, there is. But also very limited in range with regards to distance from the cell tower or mobile tower. But as 5G has started to roll out well and truly in most countries now, this has not yet been set up, of course. It's a fact of life that we will have a lot of towers around us eventually and quite soon. And of course, if the signal isn't sufficient on 5G, it will drop down to 4G. Okay, so you come to your standard setup screen. So there you have it. The new Samsung Galaxy S20. Mobile phone or cell phone if you're not in Australia or New Zealand. Cheers. Check out those links to the other unboxing.